Hi, my name is Hannes Beem and I'm going to show you how you can create your own height maps which you can use in Mandelbrot 3D to create some really cool images. The programs we are going to use are Mandelbrot 3D of course, which is a free program. The program we need to create the height map is called Dash Studio, which also has a free version. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a free version of a program to uh, do a function called HDR toning. So we are going to use uh, Photoshop to do the H HDR toning effect. First, we open up Dash Studio and you will get this welcoming window and we just click OK. It'll probably start in the perspective view and we will need to change this perspective view to front view and make sure that smooth shading is selected. Now we want to import the model we use for the height map. I found my model on Google. I searched for free space objects space OBG and I've got these three interesting sites to download free models from. I chose the free3d.com and found this great looking Iron Man model which you can uh, download and you'll get it in a zipped file. I unzipped this file with Windrag and it got into a folder called Iron Man and when you open up this folder you'll find three files and the file we'll need is the object file we're going to import this file into the studio by clicking on file and choosing import we go to the folder that contains the object file and open the file in the object import options window you just click accept now I would like to change the position so I click on this uh, tool and click on the model then to change the position we need to uh, click on the green arrow that says translate on Y of course that's the Y axis now you click and drag to uh, lower the object I can't go any further so I'm going to click on this window and change the position a bit more from here I'm going to back, go back to this viewport and with the mouse scroll wheel you can zoom in a bit more so I get mostly the head and shoulder part now I want to render this image as a height map and to do that we need to go to the editor tab and choose the render engine called NVIDIA iRay then we need to go to advanced in the advanced tab this has to say NVIDIA iRay as well uh, we don't have to change a lot here you can uh, choose your hardware options I chose my CPU of course to render and also my Quadro video card now we need to click on the canvases tab and we have to turn the canvases on then we need to, go, uh, to click on the plus button and it will give you this option we need to change the type and we need to set it to depth because we want to create a sort of depth map the height map is also a depth map now you go back to the tab editor and at general we need to uh, change the viewport it's set to active viewport ah, that's okay um, this is the active viewport because there's, it has a yellow edge around it here we can also change the um, size of the height map if you want to change the size you can do it of course I'll just leave it like this for now you can change the aspect ratio here you can change the render type we need a still image the render target is set to new window that's good for now the image name you can set the name for it I'll call it Iron Man and you need to set the image path where you want to render the file to I'll render it straight to my Mandelbulb 3D maps folder 
auto headlamp um, we have no lights in this scene so we are going to use the light that's on the the camera of the 3d program and just leave it at when no scene lights which means that if there are no lights in the scene it'll just use the light of the camera the render mode is something we also need to change set it to interactive photo reel is more important if you are um, rendering a, a 3d model which look to which has to look photorealistic and that's not an issue right now so we'll just choose interactive then this option appeared canvases and we need to make sure that it's set to canvas one and that's the canvas we just selected at the advanced tab so now we can render the image just click on the render button right here and it'll take some time hopefully not a lot and then it'll just give you a white image which seems strange and but it's it's the file we need this is uh, this is a good thing it's called Iron Man because I just named it Iron Man you can change it here if you want to and it's still set to the um, to the maps folder so that's good if it's not we can change it by clicking on these uh, dots in the button for now we just save it it says the image already exists because I did this before so it's okay we'll override it now that it's overwritten we can go into Photoshop we do we click on file open we're going to uh, need the um, folder that contains the, um, the just rendered file and that's ironman underscore canvases we open up this canvas depth file and it still gives you this um, white image and we need to click on image adjustments HDR toning it'll ask you to flatten the image that's okay and now we have the um, outlook of Iron Man but it's not a depth map yet it's not a height map yet to change this we need to change method and you have to set method to equalize histogram and this looks more like the height map we'll need of course so we click OK now we have this we have to change the um, mode of the image we have to set it to 16 bits channel if you are dissatisfied with the result you can change these settings to your liking or you can revert the method to equalize histogram and now we can save it as a JPEG file and we'll place it in the M3 maps folder we need to give it a number I'll give it the number 4000 and save just leave these settings and click OK quality 12 is the max so that's good to make things a little bit easier for this tutorial I found this uh, really interesting guy called uh, Matze 2001 and he created this really cool image called return of head and he was also kind enough to share his parameters so we can learn from this now we're just going to select and copy the parameters and we can import them in Mandelbulb 3D just by clicking on from clipboard in the open tab I will have to change the viewing to 1-1 one, one and set this to 800 so it will render a lot faster now that this is all set we need to look at the height map and it's set to map number 8502 and of course we need to change it to map number 4000 because that's how we named our height map JPEG then we go into the navigator and we click 
on this button to go up the formulas and formula number four is the height map and the height map is still set to 8000 here so we click on parameter and then the height map will change to 4000 which is the map we used or we want to use and you can also click on it and change it right here to make this look the way you want there are two important options you can change you can change the age offset which moves the fractal in and around Iron Man and the another important parameter is age scale when you change this you will change the scale of our object on a certain axis and it also changes the fractal but overall it changes the the look of the image and you can just continue until you find a satisfying result and you can move the camera around a little bit of course and zoom in and zoom out then you get an image you, you like and then you click on view to main close this and click on cal calculate 3d to see the end result if this video is helpful to you please consider donating some money for my girlfriend she is battling two types of cancer and we she needs to pay the medical treatments herself all donating options are in the description below the video